All right, let's take a look at this GameCube system. I hear audio, but no video. Let's troubleshoot it. It's connected. Hang tight. Before you open it up, try a different cable if you have one. Here's the three in one I was using. Let's boot it up. Got power. No videos. Hey YouTube, how y'all doing? Initially, upon boot up, I did not get any video at all, and uh, but it has audio. And now I'm at to the point that I will need to replace the motherboard. Right, here it is. I've got a new motherboard, well, used motherboard from FFF Gaming Emporium. Got them uh, from eBay, it's $20, not bad. I hope it fixes my problem. The problem initially on this, again, when I booted up, there was no uh, video. Um, I did many troubleshooting, including resoldering, reflowing, the uh, video output, right? And I actually also bypassed that, uh, and I housed the, um, the video out right here. Um, ultimately, I hope I get this GameCube up and running with the uh, replacement uh, motherboard. Let's go on time lapse. Here you go. Thank you note. Here it is. Let's go ahead and uh, put it in. Let's put the new board in. How about that? Came with the screws as well. Nicely done, FFF. Triple F Emporium. Line that up. Right there. Right there. Beautiful. Insert the ribbon just right there. Let's go on time lapse. And let's put this back in. This thing, don't install it this way. Install it this way, right? This is actually providing ground to this, uh, to this board right here. Okay, let's snap this back in place. Make sure that's in. We got that. Snap this in place. Just like that. Should be good to go. Snap it in place. Should be good. Let's put the cover back on. To go. Extra screws, haha. Uh -huh. um, the uh, motherboard I ordered came with the screws, so I don't need that. Just put it as spares. How about that? Let's boot it up. Moment of truth. Let's boot it up, and let's see. Oh snap! Sure. Let's click no for now.
Beautiful. We replaced the motherboard, right? We had audio, went through a lot of troubleshooting, uh, including bypassing this video out right here by uh, soldering a uh, video out, pin number nine. Uh, and um, yeah, testing all the connectivity, cleaning it, cleaning it with um, a mass airflow sensor, kind of the same thing I did for Nintendo 64. And um, uh, with that Super Nintendo, sometimes electronics just fail, including this motherboard. So, but you know what? I gave it a shot trying to fix it. But uh, ultimately, what fixed it is a uh, secondhand motherboard I bought from eBay for 20 bucks. There you go. Let's go press start. Dag nabbit. Almost dropped it. <laughs> and there you go. It's up, baby. Look at that. Thanks again. Moment of truth. Hopefully that was it. No! Still no video, but I got audio. So I'm gonna do something fun in here. I think the issue is, you're looking at the rear of the GameCube, and what we're looking at specifically is the AV out. And I just wanna let you know that second one on the top from the left to the right, the second one is your video out. I drew a map, just in case you need it. Here it is. 11, 12, 11, 9, and 10. 9 is your video out, right there. 12, audio, right. 11 is your audio left. So I focused mainly on the number 9, right? So there you go. And if you look at this, if you plug it in, right, it's going to go in that way. So that means, let me set this down. What you're looking at is the second one right here. From here, right on top, the second one from the top. So let's flip it. That's your video out. Set your multimeter. Continuity. If you hear that beep, that means you're good. It's working. If you can get a beep, open it up, hang tight. Let me get something to poke it with. Yellow, white, and red. Focus on those. Let me uh, poke it and pull it out. Hang tight. Watch tool. Just poke it. Let's just say I'm focusing on the um, audio white uh, wire. Just poke it right here. Not sure if you could see that. And this thing comes off. Just pull it. See? It comes off, right? That's the first step. And then... Poke it with something longer, like this one, and you press it down so it could come out. So the first step is to poke it right here so it comes out just a tad bit, and then go into that, press it down. May need to play with it a little bit, but it will come out. There you go. I think I got it. Take a look at that bend right there. If you think it's pressed too much, you could actually lift it up, right? And that will give it a stronger connectivity. I did that for the yellow already, so all you gotta do is put it back in. So that's another way that you could uh, take care of it. So all the way in. Good to go. Let me slide this back in place. Right there.
right there and put it back in place and just snaps back in. Beautiful. All right, let's test that white one. Perfect. All right, first, let me apologize for my soldering job. Right, all I did was applied some rose and flux to it and uh, reflowed it. And uh, we'll see. Hang tight. The battery is only for uh, keeping uh, your time within GameCube, but um, just to be thorough, let me go ahead and replace the battery as well. Two screws. And this thing just comes off. Nice one. Okay. Let's desolder this uh, battery right here. Uh, the uh, specialty tip or tips uh, screwdriver for uh, GameCube I purchased came with battery. So um, CR2032. Let's go ahead and desolder that thing. Let me put this on time lapse. Here you go. Let's put the new battery in. Positive is right here. And negative. Let's put it all back together. Here's the mod I did. Let's open it up. Four security screws using the specialty tool. All right. See that right there? It's just locked in place. Take the rear panel off. Next, right here. There you go. There you go. Pull the ribbon out. Just wiggle it out. Right there. Next, take off the uh, fan, the cooling system. Pull this out, out the cable out, look like one of them, there you go. Then take off the two screws holding the uh, fan. Next. Might as well take off this four screws right here. One, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's go ahead and take that off. Okay, this is the last of the screws. And this entire top part, disc reader, should come off. And you just lift it up. Okay, don't touch that reader right there. All right. 
Next, remove the six screws right here. Um, and uh, this entire thing should come off. Okay, this should just come off. Pull it. There you go. Let's go ahead and clean it up. Um, since this is the video output, I'm gonna go focus on right here and also this spot right here. Everything looks clean though, but might as well. Shooting. Got one of these uh, spare cables, right? Gonna cut this up and solder it directly to pin number nine. 